The Ubuntu Ubiquiti installer offers a choice between normal and minimal installation, but what is the difference between them? Well, I know it does simplistically state here that a normal installation will give you a web browser, utilities, office software, plus additional internet applications and media players. Whereas a minimal installation will only give you a web browser plus basic utilities and applications. So to sum it up briefly, if you're new to Ubuntu, just take the normal installation. But if you're a more advanced user and you want to have a different selection of packages, say you want to have a different office application, then the minimal installation could be more useful. You won't have to remove anything. You can just start from a more basic system and build up from there. The options you choose on normal or minimal have no impact on the installation of third-party software. Literally, if you choose that option there, you will end up with the audio and video codecs, as well as any necessary Wi-Fi or graphics card drivers. They will also be installed. Let's have a look at two systems side by side. I know I've gone through Kubuntu here, but it's a bit easier to demonstrate with the menu there that they provide in Kubuntu, well, specifically the dashboard menu. On the left-hand side, I have a normal install, and on the right hand side, I have a minimal install. So I can start seeing the difference already. I have no education or games menu. So those applications do not exist. I have no games installed on the minimal. The first menu I have the same is graphics and you can see a difference there that I have no LibreOffice on the minimal. Internet, well, the only application listed here is Firefox. KDE Connect is a component of the KDE desktop. Multimedia. Both of them give Pulse Audio and VLC Media Player. I suppose VLC is fairly generic and simple, really. And there's not really too much to complain about there. I don't have an audio player on the minimal, so that it's missing Eliza. Office, well, that's the big reduction in size here, that we have no LibreOffice. So the application there is for viewing PDFs, so it's basic reader. Settings, well, that's the same on both. System, same again. Utilities, yep, same again. We do have the Kate text editor installed. I think with the likes of KD Neon, which is also a minimal KD install, also based on Ubuntu, that had Kwrite installed instead of Kate. But otherwise, it's pretty similar what you're getting here in Kubuntu Minimal to KD Neon. So the useful thing about going for the minimal is you can choose a different selection of applications. When let's say I don't want LibreOffice dev file, I want LibreOffice as a snap because I want to see the future versions of LibreOffice as they come out. So I could do that. I don't have to uninstall anything. I could just go sudo snap install LibreOffice. Or I could install a completely different Office client for a dev package. You know, I've got the options here. But to check out what has specifically been removed from the minimal, we can take a look at these files that are on Canonical's website. I'll leave a link to these in the video description. So under Ubuntu itself, well, we've got uh, Thunderbird email, audio, the audio and video player, a few other small applications, games, LibreOffice, and all the LibreOffice dictionaries, or all, all the dictionary files as well later. So yeah, a few library files as well, they'll all get removed. Kubuntu, well, it's pretty much as we've seen, desktop apps, yep as well as yeah, LibreOffice, uh, some library files that won't be necessary at this point, although they will be installed should I install any application that depends on them. Ubuntu Mate, very similar story to what we've seen, the selection of applications that will be removed, the dictionary files, yeah, LibreOffice, so all that will be gone. Ubuntu Budgie, again, same as we've seen. So what you'll notice that is missing here is Lubuntu and Zubuntu. Now they don't seem to supply a minimal version of their install, but all the other derivatives do appear to. So that is the difference between a normal and minimal installation of Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, see you all later.